I'm Joseph. I am six years old and I have a calculator. You can see right now and I am going to tell you a, a few things about how I throw out math and how to teach people math. So first, you should not teach them the small math first. Big one. When you teach them the big ones, it actually teaches you the small ones with it. And it makes you teach and it makes you learn faster. Because when you do the big ones, you learn the small ones inside the big ones, learning the big ones too. So you just do all most of the math in one in one problem. So you can just do that. But when you're teaching math you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Um. What was I gonna say? You shouldn't. You should actually always give them a calculator. You should get them a calculator and let them figure out big math problems all on the calculator because you should not do pluses. You should do times. Dividing squares minus and more square roots. Yeah, those are the ones that you should actually do the most. Plus, it's important, but you should not use it because it is the one that is kind of boring, and you shouldn't use boring. What? Oh, my brain throws out math problems when they are small. Do not teach your kids small math problems because you don't need to. They learn them. They learn the small math in the big ones. So that's why you should use small math problems because they won't learn the small math problems. Really throw it out. What are some small ones? One plus one, two plus two, four plus four, and eight plus eight. One plus one, two plus two, four plus four. Ninety-nine times ninety-nine, one hundred times one hundred, ten divided by five. Even things with decimals and songs. <laughs> oh, I think you should teach about teach your kids square roots too. Square roots. So, can I tell you what a square root is? Square roots are when you have a math problem, and then you have, and then to do it, it make the square root. You click the square root button on the calculator, it tells you what times itself to make the number, to make that number. Teach you about exponents. Powers. Exponents is squares. So, 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power would be 100. It just times the number when you want to say it faster. But if you do 10 to the third power, you would, it would give you 1,000 because 1,000 is actually just 100 times 10. But 10 to the fourth power is 100 and is 10 times 10 times 10 <coughs> times 10. And that would equal 10,000. It is a hundred times a hundred. Ten thousand. So, pie. pie. See that symbol right there? That's pi. To see what the number of pi, to see the numbers in pi, click this pi button and times it, and times it one. It, it will show you all the numbers that would fit in the calculator. Tell me what you know about pi. But I know about pi. This is as far as I know. 3.14159. Wait, let me look it up.
up on the couch a little. Oh, why isn't it on? Give it to me. Why don't you just tell them what pie is about circles and stuff? Well, pie. Pie yes. is a pie. Pie is the number. <laughs> That's my pie little pie. Pie is a pie. Pie is a pie. This is all I know. 3.1415926554. This is all I know from the couch. From how big is pie? From how big pie is. But there are 50 numbers in pie. And 50 is the number beyond all numbers. It's a number that is impossible to count to. It's the highest number in the world. I'll tell you how to count pi. One, two, three, pi, four, five, six. Just kidding. Pi is the between three and four, whatever. Just kidding. That's not how you count to it. Pi is between three and four, whatever. Just kidding. That's not how you count to it. Well, goodbye.